Arjun, what are you doing? I'm hitting this rock until it breaks out into an atom. You realize it's not gonna... You know what? Keep trying. Democrates hypothesized that if you could break down a rock into sand, you could keep breaking it down until you reached a particle that couldn't be broken down further. He basically theorized about the atom, although he called it atomist, which means uncuttable. Of course, at the time, this wasn't accepted. Other theorists like Plato and Aristotle simply disagreed with him, and he didn't have any solid evidence to back his claims. He was just going based off of logic. But he was right and his theory paved the way for the knowledge we have today on atoms and elements. John Dalton was an English scientist that created the definition of atoms that we use today. His atomic theory can be summarized in four parts. The first idea, obviously, is that elements are made up of small particles called atoms. The second idea is that the atoms in an element are all identical and no two elements have the same type of atom. The third idea defines compounds as being made up of atoms from more than one element. The number of atoms of any two elements in a compound also have a consistent ratio that's either an integer or a simple fraction. This idea supports the law of definite proportions and the law of multiple proportions. To understand the law of definite proportions, we can look at carbon dioxide or CO2. No matter how many carbon and oxygen atoms there are, there always has to be two oxygen atoms for every carbon atom. Since atoms of an element also have a consistent mass, the masses of the atoms have a consistent proportion as well. The law of multiple proportions can be explained with carbon and oxygen as well. Carbon and oxygen can either bond to form carbon monoxide with one oxygen or carbon dioxide with two oxygens. Since there's one carbon in each, a ratio can be formed between the oxygen atoms. The ratio in this case would be one to two, since there's one oxygen atom in carbon monoxide and two in carbon dioxide. The last idea in Dalton's theory is that chemical reactions simply separate, combine, or rearrange atoms. In other words, he said that atoms cannot be created or destroyed, which is clear through the law of conservation of mass. So now we have an understanding of atoms and the atomic theory. But are atoms really the smallest particle known to man? Not really. We'll investigate that further in our next video, The Structure of an Atom. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week.